After understanding the concept of optimization, convexity, concavity, border Hessian and Hessian determinants, now we are going to apply these tools uh, on some various economic situations. And this is the first one in the series. The first application is about the utility maximization, how we can do this in case of a, um, a numerical example. As we can see, we are given a utility function that tells that our utility depends upon x and y, these two uh, goods or services. And this is the exact equation of it. We are also told the price of uh, x good and the price of y good. We also know about the overall budget that we have that is 130 currency units. So the budget constraint can be formed readily by using this equation, the standard form of the budget constraint that we have studied in microeconomics. And when we put the values of Px and Py and B, we get the budget constraint. And optimizing now becomes possible using the Lagrangian function because we have the objective function as well as the budget constraint. Budget constraint is uh, reformed by keeping the constant uh, intact and uh, replace, uh, displacing the uh, variable terms from left hand side to the right hand side. We know about the decorum of solving the uh, Lagrangian uh, multiplier situation here. We have done this and I hope you remember that how we have developed this concept or you can refer back to the Lagrangian multiplier method of optimization. First order conditions are calculated depending upon the values of x, y and lambda because these are the three unknowns that we have. And these are the three equations that will be formed as a result of taking the derivative of the Lagrangian function with respect to x, y and lambda respectively. This will be the um, first order condition, this will be the se uh, first order condition number 2 and this will be the first order condition number 3. So um, this is the uh, triade of the first order conditions that we can now solve simultaneously because there are three unknowns and three equations x, y and lambda respectively. So we start with the first two equations where we have lambda and we can extract their values and then equate them in order to get rid of the lambda that we have been doing in our previous exercises. So here we were able to get rid of lambda here. We got the equation 4 by equating the two values of lambda here and solving it. So this is the fourth equation that we can solve with the third equation that didn't have any lambda in it. And what we have done is we have extracted the value of y and substituted in the third equation from the fourth equation. Now solving this is not a difficult thing for you, it's simple algebra and when we solve it we get the x uh, critical value which is the which is in this case 16 and then we get the critical value of y which is 11 in this case. So now we have the utility maximizing values of x and y and now it's easy for us to find the second order condition as well. And in case of second order con uh, constraint optimization that we are dealing with, we use the bordered hashian as we have uh, understood before. This is the second order condition, the matrix version of it. This is the standard form that we have studied before. Zero starts uh, the determinant. These are the constraint based derivatives, both of these rows and, and uh, each of these column and row. And this is the objective uh, function based and second order partial derivatives. So this is Bx and this is By. Uh, these are the two constraint based derivatives that we need uh, to put in this border. And the four remaining of the derivatives are uh, the second order derivatives that are based on the objective function. So all of these will be substituted and we will get uh, the uh, ha bordered Hessian determinant. And uh, 
uh, we will now solve this because we have found these values these are the constraint based values and these are the objective based values just a reminder and then solving this 3 into 3 determinant is again easy for you that you can easily do so this is a small DIY for you after doing this you can get the value of the bordered hashian determinant and that will be 48 and which is definitely greater than 0 a positive value and that means that we are dealing with a maximized value of the uh, this mini uh, maximum gets confirmed when we see that there are alternative signs for example in this case h2 will be equal to 0 4 4 0 when we solve it we get minus 16 which is less than 0 so it means that uh, the uh, sign of the uh, second principal minor is um, uh, you know negative and the third uh, principal minor has in having a positive value so if the alternative signs are there of the uh, principal minus then it means that we are dealing with a maximum so now we are sure that we are dealing with a maximum and now we can put these values into the utility function which was based upon x and y here we are putting their critical values putting these values we get this expression finally this is the value of the optimized value that is the maximized value of the utility that is given so what we have done is we have found the optimized value of utility function and the critical values were also found in this process and uh, there was a constraint there was bordered hash and determinant and this was actually the numerical example of utility maximization by using the tools of um, constrained optimization thank you